Well, I think that it was foul play of some sort because he would never just walk away from his kids, never. I talked to Lori Young, Alfonso Cotton's wife, from her home in Grants Pass. Cotton, a 50-year-old artist and father of two teenagers, vanished one year ago, last seen at his Lake Oswego condo. I am begging for anyone with any kind of knowledge, anything. I. I just want closure for my kids so my kids can sleep at night. Just after he disappeared, Cotton's van was found abandoned at a gas station on Southeast 98th and Division in Portland. Soon after, his wallet found floating in the Willamette River near the Burnside Bridge. What's the status of that case now? It is still an open investigation. Um, Mr. Cotton is still considered a missing person. Um, so we are still investigating the case and aren't assuming anything. Basically, it's been like a nightmare because it's unbelievable. I spoke to Cotton's sister, Urena, at her home in Los Angeles where Alfonso grew up. She told me he was close to his family, his mom, and his many nieces and nephews. She believes his stamp collection, worth thousands of dollars, may have been a factor in his disappearance. He posted an online ad looking for a buyer. My mother told him that if he failed, to don't be by himself. But Lori doesn't believe the stamp collection is the key. She's convinced somebody, though, knows what happened. And whatever that closure may be, it, who knows, but it, it'll never end for my kids until there's some kind of closure. Cotton's family tells me someone used his ATM card the night he disappeared, but it's unclear if it was indeed him. They're offering a $1,000 reward for information leading to his whereabouts. Back to you. Yeah,